What's going on everybody? This is Bryce. So today we are doing the trickless, mostly trickless, uh, Professor Brainstorm OTK Valk deck. Now this isn't a regular one turn kill Valk. This is actually an important deck uh, for the meta because typically when the weaknesses of Brainstorm are going to be cards like Forget Me Nuts and Black IP. When you're playing Brainstorm, when a plant is playing Brainstorm and you know they're Grass Knuckles, uh, they're typically going to be hard mulganing for cards, again, like Black IP, Triceratops, uh, Forget-Me-Nots, cards that are very good against Professor Brainstorm's tricks. In order to counteract that, we're running very few tricks in the deck. We're just running some Emergency Fruitcakes, which there's no way to even really play around this card, uh, just in case, again, they, you have a problematic card that you need to remove. We're also running three Teleports to give us a little bit of extra ways of teleporting in and playing reactively. You're able to teleport in your barrels. Teleporting in a uh, aerobics instructor is very strong too because then it will definitely turn into a 4-3 which is very good value um, for it next turn. But it, mostly the teleports again are either going to be for your Valkyrie, you can just teleport this straight into the board. Um, you can also teleport in Mustache Monument and then play Valk on top of it which means that you're able to do this before turn 7. Um, we're also running Shield Crusher Viking again, another card you really like to play. Either teleport in so it doesn't get shamrocketed. Uh, this will be a very good finisher in this deck that anyway does a lot of damage. So you're doing a lot of early game damage with your con man. Uh, we do have Grave Robber, which is a quick bullseye. There's a few gravestones, but it doesn't really need gravestones to be good. Running a couple Trapper territories just so we don't automatically lose to decks like Cycle Cap and we're able to counter their uh, cards. So we're going to be running some pretty aggressive cards that are good to just play dry. Uh, so Disco Dance Floor, again, it's hard for opponents to, you know, deal three damage. That's that, that's going to be a good investment of resources uh, and this will be doing direct damage to the opponent's face this again will be growing every single turn and the barrels will splash give you a way of dealing maybe with beans in the amphibious lane and basically clearing the field and making a 4-3 is always a good idea because that just means that the game slows down and you're able to buff your valk for every single minion that dies definitely going to be trying to mulligan and getting a valk in our starting hand but otherwise every starting hand should be good unless we end up with four mustache monuments or something like that teleportation zombie again not only is it a minion yeah, it doesn't die to trick, you know, anti-trick cards, but uh, very good for teleporting in any card in this deck, and especially your late-game cards. Let's get right into the deck and hope you guys enjoy. Um, I've always imagined this this deck being something viable in a tournament, you know, in that sort of setting. There was going to be a tournament this summer. Turns out it got canceled, but... Um, that's what made me start thinking about this deck. I was really originally even running cards like Firework Zombie, fooling around with that. It seems like Disco Dance Floor would really be the better um, idea for this. Trickless Brainstorm. All right, so let's get right into the game. We've got a pretty good starting hand here. Uh, very good cards. Again, don't really need an environment against Rose, but two con men and a barrel. I don't even think we need the barrel against Rose. What if he has beans? I'm going to go with my gut and get rid of it. All right. Let's do some bets today. If you think this deck will win six out of eight games, vote yes. Five out of eight is going to be an over here at the live stream. Twitch.tv forward slash Fry'em Up. Let's get the bets going. Uh, so Con Man on one. Very good play. Maybe this should have gone in lane one to play on Shrinking Violet. Not bad. That's so good that he weed wags that. Costs him a one drop, a powerful trick, and we're still F1 alive and doing damage. I was the great philosopher of the 21st century. <laughs> Hi, Lazarus. Great philosopher of the 21st century. That's how Lazarus knows me. Um, we should probably not full commit here to make them afraid of playing Twin Sunflower. <laughs> Water balloons? Okay. <laughs> we can Eureka that. That's a good time to get Eureka. I have a few more options. There's space time. That's interesting. I might just space time come in. We need a leap. We need the shrinking a leap. violet will always hit these three lanes, Yo, so it doesn't really up, matter. Five. Big Overwatch update. Which tomorrow. lane we do? You excited? We actually have good Ninja. Deck. That does damage if it's in an environment. Does some extra damage. We have that combined. So I could teleport space time here. My gut is just to spam. So I'm going to. Are you having a good day today, Brian? Trying to control here. Uh, well, let's just do it like this. Spammy, spammy, spammy. We have teleport Valk. 
at some point. Hammer. That's good we played two minions, because we just, you know... I guess teleport, space time was an option, but we don't really need the conjure. That's okay. Uh, so I'm just gonna go ninja, which doesn't die to shrinking, and then we can th we can theoretically play the trapper also. Oh my gosh, it's so much bullseye damage. It's kind of ridiculous. We can also fruit cake if I don't know if need be. Something tells me we're gonna see shrinking violin too after we've seen all these reduction cards. I don't know the water balloons. There's just another hammer. So we win this trade using a three. <laughs> it's fine. And we're still doing four damage bullseye per turn. One, and then one, two, three. Ridiculous. Disgusting. So let's teleport, see what we get. Teleporting in a one drop. Fruitcake here does three damage. So I'd love to I'd love to just play fruitcake here. We basically win the game. Oh, we got this one. Heals? Definitely. Desperate need of heals here. There's that. So, let's just slow play this. There's no need to spend the teleport here. Uh, we get 3 damage by fruitcaking this 4-4. Really good. Again, emergency fruitcake. Really good for this deck. We want to prevent the opponent's ramp. I mean, we don't actually have to trap her territory. You know what? I'm going to teleport. And if we burn the teleport for no reason, that's okay. It's just another Valk. Let's let's cover this. We're not gonna really need a very big Valk, so it's probably like <laughs> it's basically teleport Valkyrie already, right? The opponent bring Nanas. They'll be taking two damage. Let's make it four, just to be able to play around bring Nana. And we can if they remove any minion, it's just automatic teleport Valk, bruh. Okay. Alright, so Valk is definitely fully charged here. We'll do one more damage. Mustache Monument would be immediately lethal. I think we want to motivate the opponent to play Shrinking Violet this turn, so it's not Brain Anna. And we gotta teleport Valk. That will do it, folks. Play the bigger one, because why not? Play it here? No. <laughs> it gets frozen. Uh, yeah, that is guaranteed lethal. Easy. I want to do a deck where I ramp to this card. I think that could be really good. Ramp to Winter Malone and maybe other freeze combos. Alright, so that was the first game very easy. And let's keep it going here. I'll check the bet, see what you guys think about the 6 out of 8 with this trick list. Again, playing tricks obviously makes it more likely for you to play reactively, but I don't know how reactively this deck really has to play. I don't think you keep mustache. We're running 4, so you can just mulligan it away and you'll probably get it back. I think this hand is fine. Having a spare teleport is never a bad thing. It's a very good play against Forget Me Nuts. But usually, again, they'll be mulliganing for which I love. That's okay. Again, he is a superpower on our one drop, so that's already a win. You know, superpowers are worth more. Oh, we got aerobics. I'll just play. There's no need to Eureka or anything. Um, even if he Berry Blast, same thing. And if he doesn't, we got a two cost four three. Man, this card's good. <laughs> <laughs> this is one of the one of the biggest things that I missed that the Discord guys were like, you know, aerobics is like a, basically a two cost four three if they don't answer. I'm like, yeah, I guess you're right. So there's no point in barreling. I'll probably be happy this turn just just playing Eureka. And uh, who knows? These two cards actually trade, which is wild. Uh, the Monkus looks kind of interesting. So does the Chemist. Should I just Chemist now and then Locust Swarm next turn? <laughs> What's the other play, though? The Chemist is so slow, but... I don't know, I think it's kind of good. Alright, let's go. Thank you, Sir Memes Along. Welcome to the Primally. Thank you so much. Damn it. Ow. See, I don't think we're going to be able to play the Locust Storm anymore. 
but what do I know? Wow, this does three. That's harsh. Okay, so these trade. Valk's at four. We're taking five, which is a pretty hefty shot. That actually makes this game significantly more within reach for this guy. I'm gonna not commit to Locust Swarm, because then if he commits any other good card, this probably is not gonna live anyway. Let's go with, like, this Gravestone, and we'll play for, like, Teleport Barrel. Should be okay. Oh my god. Holy moly with that. Teleport does draw us two cards here because of the Chemist. So we'll kind of do that regardless. Oh my gosh! Are you kidding me? This is literally the best card we could have gotten in PvZ Heroes in this situation. Taking out this Ragnaros Berry that would have been shooting six around the field. Come on, man! That's not fair! That's not fair! Wow! 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 That's some top deck madness right there! God damn, that was amazing! So now what do we do? I guess one and then Locust Storm. We can do Locust Storm this turn. Not gonna be playing around that. Holy crud! Yes! This October 9th. It's Canadian Thanksgiving today. I'll do a proper Thanksgiving deck for actual Thanksgiving. Locust Storm actually getting it done here, though. Not terrible at all. It really takes away one of his main engines, so... We're slowing him down. Valk, <laughs> meanwhile, in Ohio. Valk is just growing. <sighs> this is going quite well so far. We need oh, a leap. Yes. We need a leap. Game. That was turn five. All right, so now what do we do? We have like we can go overshoot Viking. <laughs> is it overkill? It's not really overkill. <laughs> you guys want to see it? I'm doing it for the memes because there's no way we're gonna be able to use these Vikings and every all these cards in our hand otherwise. It's easy card to answer t technically, but it takes pressure. It's so much of a threat that it takes pressure. And who knows? Maybe it doesn't have an answer. Ardent Strongberry is not enough to kill this. It's only four. I don't know what he's going for. Strawberry in. And then Berry Blast would take it away. It's probably the play. Strawberry in, hit this one. Yeah, and then Berry Blast it down. That's okay. We really need Mustache Monument now. Ah, uh -huh, I'll get punished. And he Berry Blast this one. We're still doing like four damage here. And the Strawberryian still dies. It's all in all not a great play from him. The Strawberryian's dead too. <laughs> that was totally fine. It was a distraction, guys. He lost sight of the main thingamabobber. Let's play around the Cherry Bomb, shall we? We're at 15, so... Lane 3 is inconsequential. Uh, so that's lethal. Sorry, I'm just writing down the highlight from the Rolling Stone. That was incredible. That Rolling Stone won the game. Hands down. Yes! This deck is doing really, really well. I forget who it was who, you know, I was working on this deck, and I didn't write their name down as usual. I'm just at the end of the stream, and I'm just like, mm -hmm. checking everyone's decks, so I forget to do stuff. But someone gave me the idea. Again, my original deck, I was fooling around with, like, I was fooling around with like Firework Zombie, just trying different things, so we're able to actually, you know, Beans can beat this deck pretty hard because it's too fast and we don't have Bungie Plumber. It's one of the problems not having Bungie Plumber, you just automatically die to Beans. Let's see if we can Mulligan for a Valk here. Should 
Should I mulligan for that? This is a very strong card against Beta Caratina. I think I need to be disciplined. If we don't get a Valk, we usually get another two drops, so that's fine. Uh, so let's go Con Man. Uh, I'd love to, if we played Spike Wee next turn, because we have the answer to that. That's awkward. Yeah, and I'm roping the excellent. What was I about to say? But someone in the stream, and again, I forgot who you are. You can tell me who you are if you're here in the chat. Uh, just sort of gave me the idea. Oh, we top deck Valk. Right. Right in the nick of time. Right in the nick of time. So I'm going to do this on... Well, it doesn't really matter where, right? We'll play more on Spike Weed by doing this. I'd rather the con man get Spike Weeded than the... Oh. Okay, it's just a reset, and our Val goes to four. Uh, okay, he gets a two-two. And he gets punished. Get okay, right. Really good answer to aerobics is the Galacta Cactus with the explosion. This is okay. We are doing just fine here. Teleportation Zombie is quite good indeed. We'll play this here and just trap her. We need to... Bro, don't be lame. Bro. <laughs> uh, I think let's just do this, and if it does two damage, we can always, like... Wow. That's really good. It actually did three. Oh, that's incredible. That's a really good summoning. Getting good luck today. So, someone gave me the idea of running Viking as a second finisher, which I think is a really good idea. Definitely helped us last game. And running Disco Dance Floor. And just like a little more aggressive. I don't remember if they had the aerobics instructor or not. But I think I just fixed my brain in saying, hey, just you're you don't need to play reactively because Valk wins so quickly, you know? I I I don't I don't I mean he could bury it's a good no, he can't bury blesses. Sorry, it's not Spadow anymore. Alright, we teleport in the aerobics. Again, he'd have to spend a whole Shrinking Violet, which anyway he could do if we play that. Dude. Now, in order to slow this down, I think I like to do 2 plus 4. Okay, I think I'm not going to trap her now. Because I kind of like this play. Who is calling me? Dude. You can't just call me. to close my discord sorry about that guys was that like major ear rape i apologize we have mustache valk and everything though we have everything we need now what are you doing bad dude this, this just dies. Oh, how do we do this? I guess it's like this. It's very strange. I could just teleport in the first Valk, and it, it, it really it really messes this guy up. You know what? I have another Valk on deck. I'm going to just do this play. It, it makes a lot of sense, because this Triceratops, he needs this to win. Now we're going to be sitting on 15 health. We clear his board, so everything... I don't know why he played that Astrosham, that was ridiculous. Definitely save that for next turn. We still have a 6-2, by the way. And now... <laughs> this is great! I guess Teleportation Zombie, why not? This other Valk, you know, it's it's not as big, obviously. But it doesn't matter. Yeah, we still have to say this uh, Bird of Paradise is really good for him. I wonder if we need some... A little card draw would have gone a long way. I wonder if getting some card draw in this deck instead of some of the aerobics or the... I don't really know. It's possible that is the way. There's a certain point... That I forgot. There's a certain point where we're able to teleport Mustache and the Valk in together with this. He's trying to kill... Oh, that's good that he's not going more face with that. So we'll try to maybe do that next turn it'll be eight plus eight that's cool we can teleport both of these in so it's automatic eight plus eight here there's a teleport see he has he's gonna have superpowers like time to shine and stuff that could take this out unfortunately 
but it's not super likely. You got card draw. Again, chances of spring bean and shrinking violet go way up. No, wow, he's playing around Valk so well. Almost as if he knows. That's really harsh. Here's Barrel. Uh, this will make us survive this turn, usually. Is there a way to to do this well here? Hold on. I'm just thinking about is there I still have as many teleports as I want. I don't think there's a real way to do this. Cause this mustache monument dies. No, there's no way. And this explodes. There's no way to clear a lane here for the for the valve. Backup dancers. We'll do that next turn. This is going to be a really close game, obviously. But now we don't have teleports anymore. Well, the play is simple. I'm going to play this. Oh no, but we always lose in this lane. I'd have to play for him. Every minion in his hand would have to... The only way for us to win is if every minion in his hand only has one health. <laughs> Chances of winning? Zippo! Is there any out here other than playing for that extremely rare chance that everything in his hand has one health? There is not. Oh, this doesn't even do 15. I don't know what I'm thinking. We're definitely dead. This, this card killed us. We just need a free cake when we didn't get it. All right, we're two and one. <laughs> there you go. It has more than one health. We lose. Dragon and bounce. You guys were correct. Yay. All right. So far, so good. You think instead of barrel, we should run card draw? Who's saying this now? Atticus the Great. I think you're right. I think, you know, card draw would have won us the game there. Uh, we could do Kite Flyer. We can also do... I think in terms of getting card advantage, this will probably be better. All right, you know what? It's an excuse to run good old Kite Flyer, which will usually draw us two cards. Most of the time. Us they usually think it's Teleportation Zombie, so they're not going to try to do three damage to it necessarily anyway, you know? No more barrel. I don't like the card draw. I must feel like keeping card draw in our starting hand here. Should I get rid of I mean, this is such a good curve, though. Is it, though? No. Should really be looking for a Valk, really. But it grows the... This usually will just die on turn one, anyway. All right. It's gonna be me. I'll change the deck list to include Kite Flyer now. Wow. It didn't die. Oh, he didn't go after it? Okay. <laughs> like, he really likes his berry blast, I guess. He's just getting a strawberry next year. Kind of no diet already. Is there a good answer to strawberry? <sighs> Not really. <laughs> Just do this. Go, Kai Flyer! Uh, 
Oh, why does my screen not go dark during the mulligan? I think it's just a glitch. It happens just randomly sometimes. Not really sure why. It's a little odd. This in Deadly works. Is this when we use our Deadly? Kind of a weird way to use Deadly in Teleportation Zombie, you know? But, yeah, I don't really see a better play. I like this card draw, man. We've been kind of sleeping on Kite Flyer, not gonna lie. Wow, the Deadly just got a lot better. There's no other play. We're definitely gonna get Berry Blasted this next turn. I can really see the Mustache Monument doing a lot here. Teleport would be nice. <laughs> we have so many cards. We're not gonna run out of cards now. I probably have slept on card advantage. It's not just card advantage, but we always have more options of what to do. That's the key. I'm gonna do this into Mustache Monument. He's gonna like kill both of these here. He's just gonna berry blast this one, and then Mustache Monument hopefully will not roll a three, and then the Viking just kills this guy. Should I take this damage? I don't really have a way to deal three here. I am taking it. Is Viking next turn crazy though? Kinda. Look! Summoning. We can Viking summoning next turn now, right? What turn was this? This was turn five. So we'll have the summoning after the fact. After the Viking, which means we're not just dying to this. Long. <laughs> Did eight. Pretty good. Something should slow him down enough here. I'm still doing five. But he has to really spend this turn dealing with the Viking, so. Damn. And Berry Blast, probably. That's it. Let's hope to get a two attack guy from this, please. Oh, is that good? I can't tell if that's good or bad. Now, that was turn six. Uh, okay, I guess that's... Well, now it just dies. Ah! Okay, it's gonna be fruitcake. Fruit, so it's gonna be some fruitcake play. Does anything here not have that much? Okay, so what about like one, one, two, and fruitcake and trapper? All right, this looks good. We'll put the one guy that doesn't immediately die to strawberry in here. We'll put this one here, this one here, and between the overshoot and then or any of these overshoots and the trapper. And the fruitcake. We should be able to survive this turn and kill him with Viking. This is the best. This is the most, the safest play that we could do. I think. Oh no. Can you please be that be it? Yeah, we win. We fruitcake this one. It's guaranteed lethal, actually. Screw Mustache Valve. Mustache Viking. That's the real combo. Oh my god, that trapper! <laughs> that trapper was so clutch! <laughs> BM value! We covered this one! <laughs> Yo, dang it! Two Vikings did all the damage there. That was ridiculous. 14 damage came out of Viking. God dang. Alright, 3 and 1. That was a tense game. I think it's the nature of this game, is of these games, it's gonna be a little hard to dominate. I think. I think I'm going to start running Kite Flyer more. Because again, I'll be a card advantage when you get down to the late game, but you also just... You have better plays every turn. You know what I'm saying, guys? <laughs> I love it. This is such a good card against Grass Knuckles. I guess we'll just keep it. We don't even need Valk anymore. We have Viking. This is fine. That's okay. Uh, 
ragazzo. Ok. It's got a little thing going here, but hopefully we can take that out. Yeah, let's go. Wait, this isn't even trade. Can we get our Valk on the top of our deck right now, please? Pretty please. Hey guys, look, it's a P deck. He's running P synergy. Kite Flyer, my new favorite card. The card draw for sure changed the game. <laughs> Am I have I been sleeping on card draw in this game for like four years with the importance of it? This deck doesn't even have a lot of answers in it, but it still made a difference. Imagine you had a deck that was like just answers, answers, answers. What the hell was this this forget me nuts? What was this play? That doesn't make sense. Look at Kite Flyer and Triceratops. Which way do you rather have right now? I'll take Kite Flyer any day of the week. <laughs> so now what? I don't know. <laughs> Is he gonna rumble? Was the point of this to set up a rumble? <laughs> I'm scared. I still don't get the forget me nuts, but Virgin. Okay. I think now that this is not gonna die anyway, I think we just say F it and burn our teleport here. Or at least play this. More cards. <laughs> I don't really know what I'm doing. Go overshoot man. Just blocking four damage, I guess. I don't know. I don't really need to block, it just gives us more cards. They have plenty of those. We'll be up to eight now. <laughs> we'll be up to nine. That's fine. Guys, I still have no idea what I'm doing in this game. I have no freaking clue. How are we going to win? <laughs> we need a fruitcake or a Valk. <laughs> it's not going to happen otherwise. Like this? I don't know. Here. Take a con man. For your, for your troubles. I think I just burn a teleport and hopefully we'll get a good card. Look at this chump lock draw a card. That's so good. Kai Flyer. <laughs> oh no. Kai Flyer doesn't draw a card. Well, he drew out this. That. That dies. It's hilarious. We'll probably get something to summoning in over here. That did nothing. Kai Flyer. No. He rolled a one. No. <laughs> Okay, this game's gonna be officially very hard to win. There's Valk. Valk, I think you're a little too late to the party. Fairly certain. Give him one of these. Give him one of these. And we'll give him one of these. This guy does nothing this turn, watch. He passes. And procs my block. Told you. Mustache Monument lives, I don't care. Valk's at four. Eureka, why not? We need a miracle. Come on, Zombot! Oh my god, we got Undying Pharaoh. Yeah. Wait a second. <laughs> I mean, he didn't have anything last turn. Let's just teleport Undying Pharaoh here. How do we actually win, though? <laughs> That's the only problem. Actually, we can teleport on Dying Pharaoh here. But then Valk only does 8. We'll probably do it in 3, just so we don't die. He has to also not have plant food ever. 
Yeah, we live, no problem. Not even an issue, really. <laughs> Going here. Hundred percent. Oh, we're down to one health. Oh no. Or nor. We could probably just keep this alive by buffing it. Oh, there's fruitcake. So Valk right now is at six. If three things die this turn, all of a sudden Valkyrie is going to be way thicker. Valkyrie will be at 12, so we need three things to die. So we have two mustache monuments. All right, let's just do it like this then. And we have emergency fruitcake. Now, if it will just fruitcake. Oh no, I didn't leave a fruitcakeable lane open. Oh, I screwed that up. This vampire has to be here. Houston, we have a problem. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. No, I messed it up. This has to be here so we can fruitcake this lane. I can't fruitcake a damage. Fry, why are you so. Oh no, wait. Oh no, we can fruitcake this one. It has armor! The armor makes it possible. We need a third minion to die. Guys, 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 it's like, it's like, it's like, no, it still works. I'm sure you guys all saw that, and I'm just slow. But because it, it see, we need the Undying Pharaoh to die, because we need three minions to die here for this to work. But if you want to put something with less than eight health, then the fruitcake kills it, and Undying Pharaoh doesn't die, and we don't win here. However, however, <laughs> it's exactly lethal. It's just a miracle. <laughs> miracle game, guys. When you have Bell in your deck, never surrender. <laughs> yes. Yes, yes, yes. Four and one. I don't care. Oh, man. Oh boy, no, I had to, well, I could have fruitcake played to flip, kill the Triceratops, yeah. Basically, the only lane that I left open was a mistake, but it turned out it worked. <laughs> Why not Pharaoh on the monument? Because we need the Pharaoh to live. Because then you could just play something that kills the Pharaoh. Pharaoh carry, let's go. Damn, that was a freaking miracle game, getting Undying Pharaoh there. I, I, that should probably go on YouTube, because that was crazy. <laughs> yeah, million IQ. I'm sure you guys saw that twice as fast as I did. We really need some minions here, and this is fine. And we'll usually draw some cards here on turn one, so half the time. Either that, or we get summoning or backup dances. So we're either getting summoning minions, or we're getting cards. We eat well tonight. We eat like a king tonight. Did you guys not see that? It took me a minute, but we got the play. <laughs> <laughs> the chat's only reacting to it right now. Bah. He runs fat beats. <laughs> uh, Alright, we're looking for Valk. That's all we're doing today. We're just gonna Eureka win condition once. I know, give that guy a Gatling P like four turns in a row. Great game. Vampire. I got <laughs> Barrel Boy. <laughs> <laughs> and bomb. <laughs> now, teleportation zombie, it doesn't get like killed this turn quite yet, but I feel like if we're gonna go to fight, I don't know. Alright. This will pun this punishes twin sunflowers slightly more. This can also just go in middle because it doesn't die to shrinking violet. On turn four. <laughs> that was one of the best violence games. I don't know why I hesitated to say right that in YouTube. Should that just be a... 
I guess it should be a highlight too. I don't know why it didn't feel okay. It's someone concentrating so much. There you go. So again, it's way better than teleportation zombie that doesn't like grow to a four three. But this is still a card we're gonna have to deal with. But we actually have like teleport vampire, which is weird. See, I wonder if we just go for this and fruitcake right now. Well, we don't really have to. I mean, we could have wing nut. Let's just say screw it and go bomb. <laughs> no. I think... Well... Alright. Let's do it like this. The compromise. So now if he does anything about the 4-3, this dies. Bro, lame. Honestly, that shrinking violet didn't really do enough. So now he's making six, though. I kind of want to vampire this. I don't know how, though. I think I... Well... Okay, this and Fruitcake in case he cob cannons. Well, just Fruitcake with cob cannon. It's okay, what did he kill? Which one did he go? This one. This one. And now his ramp is gone. We have two teleportation zombies on the field. I think we're good, guys. <laughs> um. Bombs away, baby! <laughs> oh, no. I think just like this, and we'll teleport the other one in. It's not going to clear this board. I want to eat these so bad. <laughs> I don't know what to do. I should have played this here. I don't know what I'm doing. He's ramping too much. I probably should have... Sorry, I was writing down the highlight and I didn't have a lot of time there. Wow, that's your go-to-fi though, bro. Okay. That's fine. Oh, do I... Does it look like I care about it? He's kind of like dragging us. We could Monument Vampire and just eat our way through here. Hey, Monument and Vampire is actually a combo. I forgot about that. Yeah, it's all a ramp. He's running like Cornucopia and Dragon and all kinds of stuff here. Okay, what if he cornucopias and he gets like a 1-1 one, one here and the vampire just eats his way through? Dry. Dude! Wait, can I eat my way through? No, I can't do it yet. I feel like I just commit the barrel boy here. <laughs> and then we'll do some things later. <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know what to do this game. Okay, Clank. We need Val very badly. Val, come on. Come on. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, guys, he gets protected. Wait, wait, wait. End of turn. This turn. 
Does this protect the bomb? Guys, game mechanics never seen before game mechanics. Does the bomb live until turn next turn, turn 12, whatever it is? Because this says end of turn it does one damage to itself, and this says zombies can't be hurt this turn. If it was beginning of turn, it definitely would be dead. But does the does the damage happen or does the shield fade? It's definitely well. <laughs> Guys, if this works, we're going to have to base a whole deck on this now. Game, I really have no idea. My gut tells me it's going to die. The shield fades and then all the abilities happen. But theoretically, from, from the actual way the cards are written, this should work. I'm guessing it doesn't. I'm guessing he dies. Come on, please live. Oh, I love you. Yes, go Barrel Boy. Value. Opponent's running. Yes! It looked so good! <laughs> oh, okay. We're doing that. It's a deck now. It's a deck. That's We're making a whole Z-Mech deck. It's going to be completely based on this combo. It doesn't make sense because you need teleport. It's never going to work. It's a turn nine combo. Ah, I'm sure none of you at home have ever seen that interaction before. That's crazy, guys. <laughs> yes! I have no idea what turn it is. And I suddenly don't care. <laughs> We're just gonna die this game. Just great zucchini does. What turn was that? It was turn seven. Game five, turn seven. <laughs> Wait. Ah! Quick! <laughs> oh no, I should have gone face. I should have gone, should have committed this. Yeah, I definitely should have committed this. My bad. There's dragon. We're gonna lose anyway. I kind of don't care anymore. <laughs> no, I just want to live too. We're definitely dead. There's no chance of living here against Mega Rampro. It's a good deck, by the way. Oh, oh, no, I still can't live. Come on, Gladiator. <laughs> I, can, I can be hopeful, right? Hopeful, wishful thinking. <laughs> the cool thing about that game mechanic is I'm guessing no one here watching the stream or the video. I've never seen that interaction before. It's also Battle Cruiser and Bomb Amp, like the two very uncommon cards. And the chance it either has to be in that situation where you teleport one in, or where you <laughs> the bomb have to be on the left, battle cruiser be on the right, or just turn nine when your your play is bomb battle cruiser. It's not a good play. That's the reason why probably no one's ever seen that before. Probably no one I'm I'm not gonna say it's never happened. I'm guessing no one watching this video. My guess is. Alright, this is a good starting hint. I am gonna try to be disciplined here and play around shrinking violet for once who runs great zucchini i know I, I don't think there was much of it we didn't have the valve we didn't have any win conditions so it's able to deal with everything it's such a good cost <laughs> i love this i wonder if i should just go after the forget me nuts now just to be a dick okay well Bye. How much would I need to donate for a deep fry on these Like, he could play Photosynthesizer, which, by the way, Conman punishes him. And then there's, there's no one drop that's going to deal with the Conman at that point. Photosynthesizer is not a good play here. <laughs> okay. Well, even the Conman still wins the trade. We're still in insanely good shape. Fry, how much would I need to donate for a deep fry on the Israeli-Palestine conflict? See, not even the current one. That's very unfortunate. There's a war happening in the Middle East again. But just, um... I want to save this for Tricura's ups, I think. I don't know. I don't think I really want to... I think I want to get a one-drop and play it here. Oh, that works. 
It's a one drop. Um, I you definitely again since we're doing deep fry podcasts, the the philosophy podcast and the Patreons through the one of the Patreon tiers. Um, this and Pre should be pretty good this turn. Does a lot, and the Valk is gonna charge at some point. Uh, that that would be a very that would be a good nomination. So I'll accept that as a nomination for the the deep fry. Is him drawing cards every turn a good thing? Should I just wait? Should I, like, wait a turn on this? I kind of don't want him drawing too many cards, though, because he's he'll be down to three now that we're feeding him with free cake. It's okay. Let's just go Starch Lord. It's Starch Lord, you know? It's trash. Garbage. And then this forget me nuts dies due to the Trapper. Man, Trapper... Trapper is decent value. If I'm up, you're my best friends. <sighs> yeah, man. So now we got some of these. Uh, two and three actually looks pretty good. Like, we can mustache monument into just uh, Viking here. Does it win? Does a lot. I, I think I'm not going to wait for Valk. We got to get a good way of getting the Viking in. It's pretty strong. Wait, the Valk is really close too. We have Teleport Valk as well. Wong! He can't deal with both of these, right? Is there a reason to teleport this in? Well, there's no real reason to teleport it, though. Let's just make the good trade, set up the teleport valve. Two damage to face actually wins, though. I said he was a okay, chaos. Please don't try to quote me on what I said, because I, I didn't say I have no opinion on the subject. I have pretty strong opinions, but it's not a, it's not, yeah, the, the opinion isn't, oh, these are the good guys and these are the bad guys. That's not how anything in life works. That's my opinion. All right, we passed this one. If he bananas, he kind of just loses. See, now this opens up the teleport. Go nuts. The moment we have teleport here, he knows he's dead. The my one. Jinjiru. Money! Always oh, Eureka them in the face, guys. Happy Thanksgiving to everyone in Canada. We have Thanksgiving a month early. I don't know why. I do know why. It's because we have an earlier harvest and it's supposed to celebrate the harvest. Because <laughs> it's cold in Canada. We got harvest early. All right, um, that's a good starting hint. I think we'll just keep my if you as long as you have a couple of early game cards. I think at that point you just keep the the mustache money. Yeah. <laughs> he just he needs early. He doesn't have early game in starting hand. Sometimes that is okay. It blocks two damage, but it draws a card. If that's what he needs to stay in this game, then that's a good play. I've done it before. Uh, so we're just going to go with this. Again, Triceratops is not a threat this turn, but we can always free kick it next turn. And uh, We'll just Eureka, and oh my gosh, she has nothing. Bro. Wow, we, did we just conjure a con man from Eureka? This is insane. Wait. Wow, we have fruitcakes for years. What is this guy going to do? I'm almost tempted to not do the... The Quasar is the better play here. The fruitcakes are always better. We don't want to play for fruitcake on turn 3. Like, fruitcake is just as good on turn 5. It will kill a much bigger guy later. That is a fine, fine, fine card. A little ability to play reactively. I should get some good use out of this here. Oh, uh, you're annoying. 
All right, maybe fruit cake would have been correct. Because now you can get a lot of value and actually catch up in this game. We don't have any sports zombies that we can get a, a field clear, can we? Okay, we'll do this, and I, I guess we'll just start playing for free kick now. I feel kind of bad I didn't go for the free kick play now. Wow, okay. That's, that's funny. This is one of the few cards that free kick doesn't actually kill. Um, I think I'm just going to do this anyway before it gets too much value. That's so much damage, bro. This guy's almost dead. It's really close to lethal, because we're doing 4-6 on 7 health. So we literally just need one more damage. It's just going to be Kite Flyer Fruitcake, and we're just going to win here. He can't draw a card. Oh, never mind. It's going to be Overshoot. And he used his Uncrackable. There's one thing that would help him. Doesn't help him. You need to heal. That's impossible. And that's it. Six and two. The bets. The answer is yes. The deck did great. Again, I'm not going to say this is the best version of Valve because in general, zombie decks want to play reactively. And tricks are the best way to do that. The other way to do that are powerful gravestones like Pogo, you know, things and Yeti, things that can respond to the opponent even though they're just playing a minion since they pop out after the plants have already made a play that turn. On the other hand, again, I think this is a... Not, not only does it just work in ranked, I think this is an important meta deck if you're really trying to counter anti-trick. The decks with Forget-Me-Nuts, for example, just died to this because they couldn't deal with Con Man and they weren't the Forget-Me-Nuts. It was just a 2 cost 2-1. Two, which is usually one of the engines, you know, one of the things that make the deck really work did nothing. And that's awesome. So, anyway, that was great. That was the... Mostly trickless Valk. I think this is the minimum amount of tricks. I, I, it's very possible that yeah, I think Kite Flyer was <laughs> the game story. Got Kite Flyer was really good. I should probably run more Kite Flyer. I was thinking of the possibilities. Rustful. Anyway, I feel a lot of decks for Kite Flyer is good. We don't need a very strong turn three play. We, you just need long term advantage. Thank you, Flight Drift, for the 300 bits. Anyway, guys, that's going to be all. It's definitely going on YouTube. See you in the next one. Peace. This is Fry.